continue for one and a half miles. This is a line that we hear again and again. But I'm exhausted, and I'm sure you are exhausted with the whole thing as well. I'm, I'm hanging out for some good news somewhere. But um, at the moment, I'm not particularly seeing it. I think Rishi Sunak and, and the government, they've got to start looking at some sort of a scheme to help people. And don't start coming out with stupid phrases like, there's a quarter of a billion pounds left in the culture recovery fund. Oh, do shut up. A quarter of a billion is 250 million, and that is literally like weighing in a bucket. So don't even think about it. You have locked the country down. Whether it's the right or the wrong thing to do is not the point. It's happened. Now, we're going to have to pay for that. Footfall is down, transport is down, everything is down. People aren't going out. Bookings are being cancelled. Shows have been cancelled. And it's not just a show, folks. It's not, your, it's not a little thing that you put on for the family on a Sunday afternoon when you've had a sherry. It's show business, and it's dead, and people aren't going to come back. In 300 yards, keep right to continue towards Tuns Lane, A355. Keep right.
station rule. It's on the front page of the mail. Can we start with that? In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, take the first exit onto the M4 slip road to London, Heathrow Airport. seem familiar because that's going to seem very low for what we're all contemplating doing to society and people. Yeah, absolutely. At the moment it's long before the potential storm, so we're just waiting to find out what's going to happen. In a quarter of a mile, merge onto M4. Four for five miles.
in two miles at junction 4B, exit towards M3, M23. In a quarter of a mile, at junction 4B, exit towards M3, M23. Exit at junction 4B, then keep right at the fork. Right at the fork. Continue on M25 South for one and a half miles. Quarter of a mile at junction 14, use the left two lanes to take the A3113 exit to Heathrow Airport. Use the left two lanes to exit at junction 14, then keep right. Keep right.
In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Airport Way, A3113. Uh, vaccination passports are the way uh, forward. You want further restrictions. If Plan C was in your hands and in your gift, what would Plan C look like for you? 84850. Uh, is it time for more COVID restrictions? Um, as well as that, I'll take you to the papers in just a second, and we're off to uh, Russia, Ukraine. Russia has outlined a list of demands for diffusing tensions with Ukraine. It's obviously um, ridiculous, and they're not going to get anywhere with it. Uh, but what are they asking for, and uh, and further details of, uh, of that with an expert in just a second. Uh, here on LBC, the news headlines are with Lucinda Horsley. The UK's top civil servant has resigned from his role investigating alleged Christmas parties at Downing Street after it emerged he was at one of them. It's being reported plans are being drawn up for a possible two-week circuit breaker lockdown in England after Christmas. A murder investigation's underway after a man was stabbed outside of Barber's in South East London. LBC weather dry but cloudy for many today with some bright spells across Scotland, highs of nine degrees. LBC Travel, I'm Anne-Marie Walsh. Because of the tube strike, there is no service on the Central and Piccadilly line with a reduced service on the Jubilee line. And because of train cancellations, there are severe delays on the Hampsmith and City line. In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Southern Perimeter Road. Between Junction 28 for Brinkwood and 27 at the M11 as a lorry is having a tyre change. In Central London, Blackfriars Bridge is closed northbound for emergency water repairs. And there are queues on surrounding routes as traffic diverts away. LBC, Omicron COVID-19, is spreading fast. Every adult in the country now needs to get a COVID-19 booster vaccine because two doses do not give you enough protection against catching Omicron. Boosters give you the best possible protection against the virus and should significantly reduce your risk of serious illness and hospitalization. Strengthen your protection and get boosted now. Visit nhs.uk slash COVID vaccination. I try to discover. Exit the roundabout onto Southern Perimeter Road. Season. Something a bit special that my family can share. In 200 yards, the Western Perimeter Road roundabout, take the second exit and stay on Southern Perimeter Road. In a world ruled by speed, where destinies are decided by downloads, a hero has arrived. Exit the roundabout onto Southern Perimeter Road. Continue on Southern Perimeter Road for one and a half miles.
In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, take the third exit onto Beacon Road. Do you understand, uh, or will you understand, when, because I think it is when, rather than if, further restrictions come in? I mean, for instance, in, in Scotland, uh, the two-metre rule is, uh, oh, is it Wales? The two-metre rule uh, is back I believe so, yeah. on the 27th. Uh, three households mixing only up in Scotland. Just, you know, you can just feel this whole scene. I felt this days yeah. ago that it was, um, it, 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 it was coming in. Um, yeah. Would you understand it? Would, would you? Will he be angry? Um, upset? Oh. Ill? I mean, I, I, I personally, I, I had a very bad three or four hours in the middle of the week. Exit the roundabout onto Beacon Road. In 100 yards, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Stanwell Road. Yes, no, it's very oppressive, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think, um, I think I'm past the point of anger, and I'm now going to the rounds of despair. Um, I think we've got to lost the Exit the roundabout onto Stanwell Road. Continue on Stanwell Road for half a mile. In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto Hatton Road. <laughs> this be like that. Whippersnapper. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm guilty. Why don't you um, just get your booster? Um, well, I don't think it's necessary. I don't, I, you know, I, I'm... All You've had two. Protecting. Just go and get the booster. It's, a, it's well, going to it's it's give you 85% protection against... You know. I don't need it, Andrew. Um, I'm young, I'm healthy, and the... The impact that this is having on young people is minimal. It, the only reason I've had the vaccine is because one, it's going to be made mandatory. I know it is, and it's already having an impact on people's lives who don't have it. Well, you don't know it's going um, to be made mandatory because um, that, well, that would be enough. That, that would be enough that to get me on the streets. Let me tell you, I do I not go believe to, you know, in, in that. I went to a Chelsea game on Wednesday night, which is a complete farce. Oh yeah. So I've and, uh, I've had the double vaccination because one, I know vaccines obviously work. I'm not an anti-vaxxer. Vaccines are obviously scientifically proven to reduce the chance. Well, have the you, third one then, Marcus. I don't need, I've had two already. I don't need them. If you were my son, Marcus, I'd grab you by the ear and I'd take you down there. And when, it's, when it's mandatory, I'm going to go and get it. But right now, I think my, my the chance of me getting ill or passing it on, um, well, passing it on still happens even with the vaccine. But um, I, I'm totally for it. And when it becomes mandatory, yes, I'll obviously get when, it. Eh? Okay. Um, good. Marcus, good I speed. believe it will be a case of when, not if. All right. Well, we're, we're monitoring that this weekend. Uh, take care of yourself and thank you very much for thank calling. Thank you very much. Marcus, uh, calling that from Bracknell. Daily Mail this morning. Now, cut turn right onto Hatton Road, then turn left onto Staines Road. Uh, 10-day rule was locked down by stealth, keeping people at home even when their symptoms and infectiousness had eased. We are still waiting for information, aren't we, on Omicron? We're getting dribs and drabs from, from South Africa, and we're hopeful. I can't wait for that information to come over here and to be peer-reviewed, etc. Guardian this morning, pressure. Ah, pressure on number 10 party inquiry boss to quit over uh, own party. Well, he has quit now, so... Turn I left onto Staines Road, A315. ...hosted event during lockdown. Uh, he's um, he's taken himself off the investigation into other people's parties because he's got his own thing going on. Hilarious, as, uh, that's Simon Case. In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, continue straight to stay on Staines Road, A315. These two sets of twins who have died uh, at a fire in in Sutton. Uh, further information on that a little bit later on with James Goodison, who is on site. Uh, Daily Express, down but not out, why we must put faith in, in Boris. So it's uh, backing Boris Johnson to, uh, to survive. life. Uh, the Times, Downing Street Party's inquiry in disarray after Chief quit. So the Times got a slightly late tradition of the front page there. Simon Case forced out over, claimed his office held gathering during lockdown. Telegraph this morning, uh, Prime Minister's bid to move on from poll route is derailed by fresh leaks. That's the Cabinet Secretary story again, and we're all over that later on. Uh, party probe office, um, uh, they've been leading on the seventh day, the mirror. They... In a quarter of a mile, at the roundabout, continue straight to stay on Staines Road, A315. Control, says the I weekend. Well, if they're out of control, what restrictions sh sh should we all be enduring? What's going to stop the spread? Two-week lockdown? Don't. Can't take it. 
727 is the time. Let's head to uh, Russia, Ukraine. Russia has demanded strict limits on the activities of the US-led NATO military alliance in uh, countries in Eastern Europe. Uh, the demands which are unlikely, uh, unlikely to be met is no chance. They come amid Western fears that Russia plans to invade its neighbor. Uh, Ukraine, of course, how nervous are they and how prepared? Russia denies all this, but wants NATO to rule out Ukraine and others ever joining the uh, NATO alliance. And it's asked for urgent talks with the United States, which is interesting. Ewan Grant is an expert on Russian criminality and international security. Ewan, hello there. Uh, glad to hear you. Thank you. And I, I thought your use of the term strict limits um, and impossible is spot on. Well, I mean, Bucharest 2008, wasn't it, where um, the, the, the Ukraine were, were offered the possibility of joining NATO at some time uh, in the future, which really wound Russia up, didn't it? Yeah, indeed it did, and of course um, also applied to Georgia, and then six months later or so we had the um, Russian invasion of Georgia. Oh, I see. Oh, I, I see. So it didn't stop them in Georgia from in invading. What about Ukraine? Uh, well, of course, Ukraine is a much larger country. Um, the, the links, the um, social and cultural ones. In 300 yards, turn right onto Shaftesbury Avenue. Than in Georgia, um, Ukraine is the big one. And... Um, I think you're probably right in implying that the posturing on NATO forces and deployment of ships... Take the next right onto Shaftesbury Avenue, then turn left onto Roslyn Avenue. ...to airspace and seas around is primarily all designed to try and get some kind of statement on Ukrainian membership or non-membership of NATO. How nervous does uh, does Russia, does Putin, does the leadership become when when NATO support Ukraine, move people to Ukraine and do as you've described, uh, sort of head out onto maneuvers on, on, a, on a Russian border? Because I think we all tend in the West